Hello everyone, um, today we are going to do a bit of probability. It's basically a review of the basic ideas probability space. Um, uh, we will start from the basics of how modern probability is underlined. Um, we will hardly ever need to use this um, abstract approach, but nevertheless it's a good idea to know what a probability space is. And so here we will define a probability space. Let's say um, probability and probability space. So a uh, probability space is a collection. Um, basically, it's three different things all together. So um, two of them are sets. So this omega and f, which is sets of elements of omega, and the function so with this and it's a collection like this um <clears throat> now this collection uh, has a particular structure and properties um, one of those properties is that the set and by the way I'll be using red color to different no, denote sets and blue color to denote um, functions and if I use other colors I'll tell you guys what those colors represent and so Omega is a I'll use purple, uh, uh, pink to define something that's important. Um, here, it's just a set. Um, and this is called, this is called, uh, or actually, the sample space and second we have that f which is most often um, up the power set of this thing um, power set of um, the set however it's not always the case that it is the power set so I will not particularly say that it is the power set. Uh, I'll just say F is a collection of subsets of, um, actually it's a set, so omega. And we will call this this collection um, elements of this collection to be element uh, events. Um, sorry, there was an issue. Anyway, we call the elements of this set or the collection of subsets, um, which is basically an event. So, an element of this collection. is called an event right now so far we have uh, omega is a set which we call the sample space and f is a collection of subsets of omega and uh, each element of f is called an event now 
if you guys have come across um, measure theory, you must have heard that probability is a measure, or if you haven't, then um, we have that. Measure. Um, wait, it's a function, so p is a function. Um, from F to zero one. So it only takes values from zero and one. If you have a probability, we know that probability takes values from zero and one. So we have that. This assigns a probability to each event. And let's actually write this in. in F now. It's um, basically a modeling experiment. Um, the sample space omega represents a set of all possible outcomes of the experiment. Um, and F is a set of all events or possibilities that will or can happen. Um, roughly speaking, um, but there are some natural conditions that F should satisfy. Um, so let's say, um, yeah, that's fine. We will have that the um, set F should um, satisfy the following conditions. So one of them is that I'll use the color green to indicate something is inside and this color is not very visible. Let's change that green to the darker green. Something is inside something else. So right now, um, omega should be inside F now. The second condition should be that if F contains contains let's say a set A or an event A, then A complement should also be inside that thing. So, um, which is what I was just saying of earlier. If something is an event, then there is a possibility of that something happening. But that also means that there is a possibility that that something is not going to happen. So that means there is a the complement of that thing, which is um, this thing is basically equal to omega 
omega minus a, um, technically speaking. And we should have that this is also there. Um, going back, we have the third condition and The third condition is that if the collection A, I'll indicate the number with this I, where I is inside, uh, actually, with, yeah, with, never mind. I is inside uh, indexing set, which we call, say, capital I. And let's just say this is, is finite or um, countably infinite. If you learn measure theory, um, you will come across why that is important. Getting back to the thing, we will have that infinite collection of events in F and then we have their union um, which I'll just use the red union union of a take this I to be here I to be an element of the indexing set and we use the same i here and um, we want this thing to be inside f so this is also an event all in all these are the only conditions that we need um now these two things probability space condition and uh, the uh, conditions for certain events are there and there should also be conditions for uh, probability measure p basically um the reasons for all these conditions are very much interlinked with uh, measure theory now getting back to it um we need the probability measure, the probability measure P should satisfy Should satisfy the following conditions. These are the probability axioms that many of you would know um, or must have come across if you have done any probability. So we have, oh, I forgot that this is a function, not a set. So. So we have that, I'll use the pole values or elements to be that and that. So we have that the probability of an event and the event being the whole of the sample space is equal to one. Um, that is a condition that we must have. And the second condition is that 
the disjoint union is the sum of so disjoint probability of disjoint union of um, events is the sum of the probability of those events so um, formally speaking if a i is is a finite or countably collection of this joint events which means um, a actually this is for not equal to j and actually this is not a set so let's go back to this that is um, and if that is the condition then we have that the probability of the union of a for i in of two. Sorry, this is a value, so let's use this equal to, and that would be the summation and summation of i in i, and there is going to be an i here. Yeah, a i is phi. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, 